does this look like a miniature person? It is. It's an embryo. And I want to take one or two quick minutes to say something about tooth development. Well, the whole uh, embryo, you could see that we could see a tongue here, which is developing skeletal muscle. You could see the squamous mucosa of the oral cavity and the palate. You could see the developing uh, mucosa of the nasal cavity and paranasal sinuses. You could see cartilage along here and here and here. And now you could see it better. Cartilage. You can see developing bone in which we have osteoblasts uh, becoming osteoclast, depending on whether they're at the edge of the spicule or in the middle of it, respectively. And last but not least, you can see that this squamous mucosa stratified or developing epithelium of the oral cavity is invaginating in an area in the mandible to form a more specialized a type of epithelium called odontoblasts and amelioblasts. The cells which are abundantly apparent here, as you could see them invaginating from the surface, developing squamous mucosa, are tall cells. And these are the cells which will eventually give rise to the enamel of the tooth. And these are ameloblasts. And I want to show you something very quick because in the next stage of development, which we will see uh, hopefully uh, right here, I think, you can see a now a greater degree of development because the bone is now further development developed and you can see better differentiation of the squamous mucosa of the oral cavity. And you could see some remnant strands of ameloblastic uh, nests, which have in invaginated from the squamous mucosa and are now more uh, better developed and differentiated to become fully developed line of ameloblasts. This is still primitive connective tissue of the tooth, uh, the pulp cavity. And of course, in this, you don't see any true enamel or dentin developed yet, but you do see a nice rim of ameloblast, and you do see a lot of more mature bone in the uh, mandible. And last but not least, I want to show you also very quickly what happens when um, it is at a little bit greater stage of development. In this case, it may even be an adult. But these ameloblasts now, which you could still see here, all along here, have now fully made enamel. And this enamel which is made here is the hardest substance in the body, much harder than bone itself. And here you see a little wrinkle in the tissue processing. Here is a nice perfect area of uh, enamel from here to here, all this purple stuff. And last but not least, you could see that the ameloblasts are now looking a little bit different. Sometimes they'll send processes into the enamel called tomes processes. If you're lucky, sometimes you can see the lines. I don't know if we're going to be that lucky here. Oh, yes, we are. Look at these beautiful tomes uh, fibers. On the other hand, when you see the part of the tooth uh, that is dentin, some, which we don't see here and we don't have a good example of, you can all see lines from the dentin, uh, 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 lines from the odontoblasts sending the lines into the dentin, just like you have lines here from the ameloblasts uh, extending from uh, the ameloblast into the enamel. But this is a great a example, which you will always see in tooth, is the uh, cells that give rise to the enamel called ameloblasts and lines called tomes fibers, T-O-M-E-S, going into them. And I hope I did this justice, so I thank you very much.